Hey guys, so as you can see a couple changes, <laughs> my hair is straightened for the first time in a while and I was have to go ahead and get some blonde highlights. A lot of people ask me how do I wrap my hair? I can't do the traditional wrap where you comb your hair down and wrap it around your head. I actually have to use these duckbill clips to create the pin curls. So what the pin curls do is it keeps the shape of my hair and you know it looks like I wrapped it but it just for me it just is a lot easier if you want to see how I pin curl my hair every night when it's raining outside to protect my hair from the elements please keep on watching that's my dog toy I almost rolled it over I only put like a drop in my hands I don't do this every night just when I feel it's necessary and then I'll just do this because the highlights are really on only on top of my hair just to make sure that they're nice and moisturized. Blonde hair is a lot drier. Um, I'm trying to find my bigger comb. Here we go, the bigger comb. So your hair just glides through everything. And if you don't like how your pin curls came out, of course, this is how you would comb them out. And since I curl under, you can tell my hair is like flipped on the end, but it doesn't really bother me. If my hair was bone straight, I think it would be almost bra strap length, if not closer to bra strap length. And then start pinning or clipping your hair into pin wheels. So, here's a tip before I start. The bigger section you get, the looser the curl. Also, pay attention to how tight you start rolling your pinwheels. If you want a tighter curl, roll it tighter. Looser curl, roll it looser. So I'm going to take a clip in this hand and start to roll it. I like to roll it like this, so I'll take some of it, pull it down, and roll it like a pinwheel until it reaches the top where I want it to go and then I'll clip it down just like that now if you notice since my hair is in layers that there's a little flyaway clip that down as well I want to say I have about 50 to 100 of these little clips just from over the years when I leave the hairdresser they just let me keep them in my hair I probably have purchased two or three packs of my own so I keep them in an old wristlet that I have so I can keep that my combs as well as my hair wraps which you will see momentarily um, just in case I have to wrap my hair up like this real quick, just in bigger pinwheels for the time being. So. If I comb it with the fine tooth comb, I make sure I comb it in the same direction as the curl. So again, I like to hold it like this. And you'll see like how the curl wraps and just tuck the ends in the best you can. and clip it since this is pretty big I'm going to take another clip with this side of my head, I like to keep the curls in as long as possible. So when I get to where I need to be, I will take these clips out just so the front lays exactly how I want it. Pin curling your hair also helps cut down on the amount of heat, especially if you like curls. I've also done this with perm rods to get that super tight, curly, sleek look, and it works perfectly. Another tip is be mindful where you're clipping since you're going to start to overlap on other curls that's cool but like right here this is flat but I'm going to put this over top make sure when I I'm going to make sure when I clip it I clip both of them so it lays as flat as it possibly can and it doesn't like leave that indentation on my hair in reality 
This entire process only takes me five minutes to do from the combing, the wrapping of the pinwheels or whatever, and actually wrapping my hair. It only takes five minutes because I'm not having to explain it to you guys, but I did want to show you the entire process and I'm glad my camera didn't go out of focus so you can see what it looks like. I do wear my hair in these clips under a hat with my scarves on and everything like that. It just, in my opinion, is an easier way for me. But since I've overlapped so many times, when I take out the clips, I definitely have to start in the back. Starting in the back would prevent all of the snags that can occur if I started in the front. And like I said before, I like to keep the clips in the front end a little bit longer just so those curls don't fall quicker. I always forget a couple of strands as you will see. I'm going to have to go back in off camera and fix those two little ones. Let's do this. Making sure that I'm not really disturbing like the stuff in the back. Pulling it over the clip, sometimes they'll hold it back. And then I'll start with the live sticky side first. Again, making sure I don't disturb the curl. Do that. To protect the top, I use an old school do rag. I've had this for years. No one is too good for an old school do rag. It's literally the only thing that can stop my wild sleeping from messing up my hair. After I do this, I go about my night routine and I go to bed. Just as a note for you guys, take your time when you take out the clips so you're not um, snagging the clip on another piece of hair. And I off camera really combed my hair so it was shaped right. I just had to hit y'all with the slow motion real quick because I love my hair color so much. If y'all want to know where I got my hair done, I'll leave that information um, down below. But as you can see, this is how I maintain my straight hair for weeks. Those pin curls really um, give me that bounce that I'm looking for and all of that volume doesn't take too long to do so with that being said thank y'all for watching i'll see you guys next time bye